Hey folks, Will Owen here with JetBoatPilot.com. Today's video, we're on Yamaha's brand new 2018 210 FSH Sport. And uh, what we want to do with this video is basically give you a quick walkthrough and point out some of the things we thought were very interesting, uh, new, things you probably haven't seen before on a Yamaha boat, especially on the previous 19 FSHs. So let's dive right in, we'll go ahead and get started. Pulling from the uh, 19 FSH, you're going to use the same style console with a changing area. It's going to have the curtain for privacy. Notice this curtain is removable. And once you get inside, you've got a pretty tremendous amount of storage and storage even underneath. So if I go underneath here, I've got storage up to this bulkhead here. So it turns out to be a lot of room. You can actually put a porta potty in this space. Uh, on previous models, 19, there's a tap light and there's actually a tap light right here in the corner now. So that really works out nice. If you do have a changing area, someone wants to go in and change clothes, they've got some lighting. Fire extinguishers built in. You also have access to the back side of your helm. So if you want to do work on your electronics, that's all covered by a canvas. Easy access there. You'll also notice that once I zip this down, inside you've got a lever. So if someone wants to get locked inside or shut inside, you can simply pull this latch and get out without having to have someone on the outside to help you out. This is lockable. So if there's a key that comes with it, you can lock this for security in case you're going to leave your boat stowed somewhere. You're not going to be able to get close to it. That's really nice. You'll also note that on the windshield, you have these quick release tabs. The tabs come out, uh, there's about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. That allows for easy removal of the windshield in case you're gonna stow this in a tight spot. Also your tower, you notice you've got bolts here that are gonna allow you to uh, remove these bolts uh, as well as at the top side. And so the tower can be taken off Probably not a quick job, but something that definitely two guys could pull off. You can get this to some tighter spaces. And we'll have more data for you about the actual garage door clearance uh, at a later date. Moving on back, we're noticing that we've got cup, or excuse me, uh, rod holders all around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22. So we actually have 22 rod holders on the boat. For those of you guys that want to get your gear you know, rigged up ahead of time, and then of course going out, you want to change baits real fast or change setups, you can have it just kind of pre-set up. On the 21 footer, the, the rocket launchers are going to come standard, as well as the nav light standard. You know, Jetboat Pilot created this feature for the 19 footers a few years ago, uh, last year, excuse me. Uh, so it's available for the 19 as an accessory, but of course with the, uh, the 21 footer now, this comes standard with uh, built-in nav as well as the uh, built-in rocket launchers. That's really cool. Nice gray powder coat this year too. I like that a lot. The canvas while we're up here, this is going to be easily removable over on the side. You'll notice that we've got this uh, ratcheting style, kind of like Yamaha's traditional boat covers. They use a ratchet style. So once you get this in the stainless, by the way, once you get this tightened down, a nice tight canvas to stow it away, you just simply go for it shut. To remove this, you simply undo the ratchets. The whole canvas just pulls right off. It's easily stowable. Usually if you want to clean it or whatever else. If you're towing down the roads at high speeds and you don't want it buffeting in the wind, that's the way I did when I drove it home is just took the canvas off and stowed it. It's really easy on, easy off. Moving on to the console here. Notice this year Yamaha has added a couple of cup holders, which is great. Obviously a non-skid padding on top. You also have non-skid padding on the floor, which is removable. Non-skid on the, on the footrest, as well right here is your little console area uh, for just knickknacks, put it, putting things there so they're not sliding around. Your stereo control is here, built-in clarion. Twin tachometers, your compass. You're gonna have your nav lights. Your courtesy lights is being indoor interior lights. A couple of accessory switches for adding additional electronics. Your uh, uh, separate live well with your aerator switches here. Uh, live well switch to activate. And of course, you're gonna be able to uh, cycle your aerator between automatic and manual. Um, <clears throat> your build switch. The switch is gonna be basically cycle. Occasionally, it's got a float switch built in and then your horn. Down on the lower portion of the console, you've got your jet wash, and you're gonna have your no wake mode and your cruise assist. We'll talk about that more in depth in the later video. Throttles, Yamaha's got one of the best steering system setups, the, the throttle setups that I've seen in the business. I've driven a lot of various jet boats and nothing is as smooth as this, uh, this tandem twin engine setup of Yamaha. It's just, it's rock solid. You, you find a place, you stick the throttle, and it stays there, it's very smooth. You just feel like you're uh, in control and very able to precisely control the boat, put it where you want to. The steering wheel this year has got a nice knob on the steering wheel, it's really nice. It's also tilt, stainless steel of course. Uh, down inside you've got a lockable glove box here. 
it's really nice. Down inside here, you've got some storage, and you're also going to have your uh, plug in here for uh, you know, accessory plug, a 12 volt, and then also a plug in for a USB and auxiliary port in case you want to hook up an MP3 player or something like that. So that's really cool. For more information about the 210 FSH Sport in specific, visit our website, jetboatpilot.com. There's tons of video content there uh, through our YouTube channel, tons of products and accessories, obviously, that we make for the boat. Uh, obviously, you can reach us through Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, you can re reach out to us anytime on the forums. We're on there pretty much constantly. We appreciate you watching this video today. We hope it's been helpful to you. Thank you. Have a great day.